Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and welcome to another Ask the Expert segment. Um, today's question comes from one of our customers in the aerospace industry, and um, it's a question that comes up a lot in the aerospace industry because temperature is a big issue, especially in, in, in uh, engine environments and uh, very high duty environments that you might find in military aircraft or military vehicles. And uh, this particular question uh, says, uh, we have an application on board a military aircraft that requires a seal to, con to function at 600 degrees F continuously. We need self-lubrication and low friction. Is there a polymer that can work in this situation? 600 degrees continuous is a challenge, especially in a seal configuration, because uh, the materials that really perform best at 600 plus degrees are generally materials that are a bit stiffer. So it really depends on what the geometry of the seal is. Um, uh, there, there are some filled PTFEs that can push the 600 degree uh, envelope, uh, but on a continuous basis, it's a little bit on the borderline. So we need to look at some of the really high-end materials, um, which again are, are stiffer type of materials. So then it becomes a matter of what geometry can you live with. Um, if the design is just a simple, uh, say, a Z-cut piston ring, with some kind of metallic expander. Uh, that makes it much easier for us to design with those high modulus materials. Um, if you need an application, for instance, uh, we've got a high pressure seal and you're gonna be sealing at two, three, 4,000 PSI, um, high temperature, high uh, cycle rates, then you have to be very creative with the geometry design. It can be done, we've done it before, um, but you have to be a little bit more careful about the material selection. And uh, one of the things that we can do with the higher temperature materials is we can modify them ever so slightly so they're a little bit more ductile, they're a little bit more responsive to pressure. Uh, we use different spring designs uh, in order to actuate the seal, um, and that again can come in the form of Z-cuts, uh, solid rings, V-type rings. Um, there's a number of different geometries that we've used in that area. Uh, we have actually been able to seal uh, um, on hot air ducts on the leading edge slats, for instance, on de-icing applications. We've been able to seal uh, upwards of 800 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but it was again a combination of the right polymer the right geometry, and um, it was a su successful design for us. Um, but the real trick uh, is, is really going to be taking a look at all of the parameters, just like everything we do here, and understanding that um, there are materials that can do it. Uh, it may need a change in some of your hardware. You may need to go to a split gland instead of a, uh, a closed gland. You know, simple things like that that uh, can be modified hardware-wise can make these things much more effective. So, um, we have a lot of information on our website on high temperature materials. Uh, these would be materials like Vespel, uh, Meldon, uh, Celazol. These are some of the materials that we have used in the past for these uh, very high temperature applications. And then some of the rulons even, um, and, and some special compounds that we have developed on our own that are able to withstand 600 degrees continuous, uh, even pushing a little bit higher than 600 degrees. Um, but again, it really comes down to matching the material, the geometry, the hardware, and being sure it all fits together and accomplishes what you want uh, in a positive seal. Um, so if you have any other questions or if you have a specific design, high temperature seal, high temperature bearing, uh, we do have materials that will perform in those conditions. Uh, so give us a call, contact our engineering department, um, check out our blog. We've got a lot of information on there on high temperature applications and uh, contact us through the uh, Ask the Expert site and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us and I look forward to seeing you on another Ask the Expert.